Hi Fer! Welcome back for another chat about the business side of cloud computing. Happy to be back, Martin. Now, I'm a developer and I use containers every day to make my life easier. You're a business person, so I was surprised when I heard you mention containers the other day. Do business people care about containers? Yes, we do. Business leaders like things that let them release products faster, accelerate time to market, and run their organizations more effectively. How does that break down, Fair? Let me tell you. All right. Why do business people care about containers, uh, which is a piece of technology after all? Let's back up one step before I get into that. First, business people want minimum complexity in systems because complexity is expensive and slow. That means that business people like serverless computing and containers. And on Google Cloud, serverless computing plus containers means cloud run, right? That's right. Many business people I've talked with when first try cloud run to support their workloads. If that works, their developers can focus on new features instead of operations. Okay. And what if their workloads can't be run serverlessly on Cloud Run? Uh, or if they can run on Cloud Run first, but they need more customization later on? Then they drop one level down in abstraction to Google Kubernetes engine. It's possible to do this because the business logic is already in containers, which Kubernetes engine can run. Got it. Business people in tech sector have heard about containers. They like how containers help them with technical debt, multi-cloud, low utilization, and hiding. Those are all business problems. Ooh, that's a lot, Fair. Uh, let's break it down. You started with technical debt. Tell me more about that. Uh, do business people know about technical debt? Many business leaders that I've talked with have moved their companies to the cloud, but not seeing all the benefits of the cloud. That's because they still have custom processes for build, test, deployment, security, availability, and so on. By moving to containers, they can use standard tools and processes. That way, they can get the full benefit of the cloud. Got it. Uh, next, you mentioned multi-cloud. This one is pretty simple. If you want to move workloads between clouds, you need a standard deployment unit. That's containers. All major cloud platforms support them. That makes sense. And then you mentioned low utilization. Business people hate low utilization, It means that they are overpaying for IT infrastructure. If you're using physical machines or virtual machines, your CPU utilization is usually pretty low. Yeah, that was true at my previous job for sure. Uh, but how do containers help with utilization? When your business logic is in containers, you can scale them up and down by deploying them on more or fewer servers. You can either let Google do it by using Cloud Run or you can do it by yourself with Google Kubernetes Engine, if you prefer. I see. Uh, and last on the list was hiring. Now, how do containers help with that? Well, developers want to work with open standards like containers so they can get transferable skills. They don't want to become experts in custom systems that are only used by your company. So business people know about containers, uh, but most enterprise workloads have not been containerized yet. How should business people think about the container journey for their company? First of all, it's fine to migrate one application at a time. Start with one application, gain experience with containers and with how your cloud provider handles containers. And how should one choose a cloud provider? Pick a cloud provider who supports open standards. That will make everything easier today. It will also make things easier tomorrow if you decide to go multi-cloud. Makes sense. Uh, this was a lot of business thinking you laid on us here, Fair. Uh, is it written down somewhere? Yes. We recently published a white paper on containers from business perspective. It has way more details than I could cover today. Let's add the link into the description right here below to this video. Sounds good, will do. As always, thanks for sharing your business insights with us, Fair. Always happy to help, Martin. And thank you, everyone, for watching. 
Check out the video description below for the link to that full white paper we talked about. Uh, it describes the business of containers. Also, if you have any questions for Fair or me, please add them in the comments. And do let us know if there are other business topics around serverless, containers, cloud computing you'd like us to bring up. Until next time.